everybody, it's Thursday again. Welcome to Sorita Casita. It's Brenda Schwader. How are you? This today is part two. Part two of the 3D long barbell to bracelet tutorial. <laughs> the title alone should tell you why it has been in two parts. <laughs> I am not a minimalist. You guys know this about me. <laughs> so. I hope you love me anyway. Okay. So the la last week, what we did, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go down here again. What we did is we did half of these. This is all with this gorgeous, I mean, I am totally in love. And you guys know that I don't, I don't say I don't like something if I don't. <laughs> but I am in love with this aluminum wire. How fun is this? This is all available if you go up, up on the links here. Here's um, I, what I did is I gave you the link to all of the aluminum wire in the two gauges that we've got, uh, 18 and 12. Again, the, the red is not on there, so if you want the red, you might have to, um, uh, I will put the link in here again. But um, look how fun it is. And I just love how chunky and colorful, I mean, how saturated is this? This is the royal blue. So when you go on to the link, it's going to show you all, and you'll have to click on blue for each of the each of the gauges. But I just adore this, and what I like a lot too is how well it goes with these sodalite beads. I mean, again, like last week, I told you they really remind me of um, of the uh, uh, oh, what's that fabric called? <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hi, welcome. Um, Starts with an I for Pete's sake. Anyway, <laughs> it reminds me of beautiful fabric. <laughs> Good Lord. But the very first thing that we do, and um, you know, I, I think I also told you that on the Etsy site, which the link is above, uh, we have the, um, the, we've got all of the um, instructions on John Bede on the, on, um, on the beautiful uh, website that they've got, or Facebook page group that they've got, um, projects and PDFs. Um, but as well, here's all, here's everything that you need to know. Here's all the tools. Here's everything uh, with the SKUs on them. We don't want to leave anything up to uh, fate. And so what I do is, because I love my my jig people not to tempt you with this but here is their version we want to keep them still happy but we also wanted to do a version for you guys too so that you can remember uh or, or do um to all of this um and um so i'm going to i'm, I'm stammering because i'm like i'm at 10 percent battery and this was at 90 percent when i came on how does that happen Okay, so I'm gonna try to get through this really, really quick since we're down to 10%. But anyway, good Lord, um, this is all for you. And these are available on the projects and PDFs um, for John Bede group. Make sure you get a part of that because that's where all the free stuff is. If you just wanna go quickly to my Etsy site, they're also available there um, and have been. Okay, so what I'm gonna be teaching you today is the non-jigger jigged part. And what we do is we're going to start all with these. I believe these are all five and a half. Uh, last week we found out that this particular link here, uh, this was not five and a half, this was four and a half. Okay, so I put that in there and we'll be changing those instructions or just know that um, probably by tomorrow because I didn't know if there's going to be any more mistakes that I wanted to clear up. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating these links first. I just wanted to review this this time for you. Just making this link and we'll do both sides. It doesn't really, just don't worry about the orientation at this point. We're just going to keep on keeping on here. Got lots of stuff to do. We've got actually just two links to get, get through because one, I'm gonna show you how to make all three. And if, I'm just going quick on this part because if you need to see this, this is this was covered last week, okay? So here's that basic barbell link. So this is why we call it the long barbell. It is long. So I'm just gonna make three of those right away. 
Judy Blue. <laughs> no, the, thank you, Linda. You're such a good scribe for me. Yes, it is Judy Blue um, from our friend Judy, um, who is a big proponent of the jig, and she has done lots of live broadcasts. You're right. Thank you for reminding me of that. Yes, it is Judy Blue. Um, Judy loves blue, and I think royal blue is her thing. Uh, I cat. There we go. See, it just it came back to the surface. I cat is the fabric. Thank you, my love. If you put that in there, I'm sure that was the reason that it drove the other thing up. <laughs> the angels at Rocket Fennels, are they really? Wow, that must mean they can hold up to a whole lot of weather, right? Wouldn't you think? By the way, you guys, these are so awesome to use. I am just loving these handles. So ergo, nice and long. I've told you about that before, but it bears repeating. And you guys, if, um, if there's anything that I don't cover, please let me know. You can always email me at be at Um I'll put that, try to put that in the comments later as well. But also if there's something that John Bede can help you with, just definitely email info at johnbede.com and they will be happy to get you anywhere you need. Okay, that's why it's so happy that they have set up this Amazon page so that we can get what we need to you guys, right? Okay, so here we go. These are all, and you notice that I'm not doing too much straightening or anything like that. I can basically just sort of, and why I told you not to worry about the orientation is this might have ended up like this, but with just with my hands, this is 12 gauge wire. <laughs> I mean, I can just do this with my hands. Some people say I have really strong hands, but you know what? Um, you can see how easy it is and smooth to do um, just with, um, with what I had going on there. So this is my inch mandrel. You guys might ha not have an inch like this, but you can find something like this in your pantry, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and do this one. This is called what I call the interlink link, okay? So you can see how easy this is to do. But this one doesn't have, it's so, it's so cool just on its own that I didn't want to put any beads on it. And I thought, well, that's okay. They have beads on all the rest. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. And basically I'm just forming around something that's an inch, right? So you probably have something like that in your stash somewhere. So I'm just bringing this around. I'm working it parallel. So these pieces are parallel to the, to the, beat, the, um, the mandrel. And what I'm gonna do here is, I'm just gonna get it so they're touching. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I am going to change this orientation. So I guess I could have just left that one that way before I even did it, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just kind of go in here and just give this a little bit more um, uh, shaping. I'm going to open this up as you would a plain loop or a jump ring, and I'm just going to tease it back into that hole. Okay, so it looked really easy. You're like, okay, I really don't, maybe I didn't really need to have a whole lot of, um, I don't want to say, instruction on that. But here's where, I'm going to get that real close. Here's where we need some, oh my gosh, we're at 6%. I'm so upset. Robert, is that who I mentioned? Robert Jenick. Uh, Robert Jenick is a partner in not, um, not Just Beads in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hi, Susan LeGuider. Okay, guys, I'm trying to go really quick because, yeah, I'm losing, I'm losing some steam here. Um, yeah, so what I want to show you is I'm going to go back to this right here. And what I've done is I have this mandrel right here you know it's this one's a hoop mandrel if you guys have so you can see the rest of my should put a picture there hey so what i'm going to do is i'm going to my 
my concern here is that in order to get all this, you know, you want this to be round here, but we've, we've got this in here, um, but we still have, we don't have a nice round space here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on here and I'm just going to round this out. I can even do it with my fingers as much as I can straight on there. I mean, if you were to work with silver or something like that and look at the change that happened just from using that mandrel, right? So basically, this is that piece. You can do a little, a little bit more tweaking here, but basically that's the piece. Okay, so we're going to do, okay. Let's do the layer cake next. And this one, this is the layer cake, because you can kind of see, get some layer. It's just right one over the other. What's that other game, you guys, that <laughs> could have called it that, too? But basically, this is going to be the same technique, okay? So we can get away with just showing it one time. Um, and this is going to be um, the no way. No way. <laughs> you got to be in my head to get any of this done. So we're going to make the two things and I'm going to show you how to uh, detach the sodalite beads because um, we are running out of juice here. Um, and let's go back down. So we're going to just kind of, um, and uh, both of these, well, not, not both, but one of them again is, per is parallel to, okay, this. And again, it's aluminum, so I can just do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass this, right? Whoop, boop, 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 boop. Here we go. I'm bypassing it. And so I'm just crossing, crossing over. And that's all, right? You want to keep them nice and, and tight there, but basically it's just crisscrossed. Okay. It's not brain science. But this time, this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go perpendicular to my mandrel piece. And I am going to start forming it around. And for this one, I'm just going to go one over the other. And that's why it's called layer cake. Okay. None of this is rocket science. <laughs> this is me and mixed medias. So mixed, mixed metaphors. I say brain science, but it's rocket science or brain surgery, right? So I say brain science or rocket surgery. Lucky you to have me as a, as a teacher here. Okay, so if you want to kind of flatten these out, you can, you know, bring those to your, your, um, your bench block. But here is how we're gonna do this because we're down to four percent. I feel like I feel like we're gonna. I just want to be able to say goodbye before I lose you guys. <laughs> My God. <sighs> okay, so Grant, I'm just gonna grab like probably like six inches of this is the 18 gauge wire. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna form the tiniest, tiniest. Hi, Donna Chandler. You love my descriptive language. Well, I love you, Susan McGuider. The very, very, very tip of my my round nose pliers. And I'm just going to make the smallest, smallest, smallest little round loop that I can. See that there? Then I'm just going to grab this and use it as a vise. And I'm just going to just ever so slightly just kind of turn this and make it into a little bit just be careful with it okay one thing about using aluminum is that it is not it's very soft right okay so isn't that not cute but what I'm gonna do here and I'm just straighten this a little bit with my fingers is I'm going to take this and I'm going to bend this down now so I have a little stopper some of you have probably used this to um, to put beads on or be make beads into charms. Let's use this one here. So what I want to do is, where is it? That's not the one. Do, 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 do. 
Uh, okay, this one. See what I did? You could put your bead in between if you want, or you could put it on both on both sides. For this one, what we're going to do is we're going to load. So we've got the stopper, right? This is, by the way, this is way too much wire, but that's okay. I always rather have way too much than not enough. So I've got that one bead on there. I'm going to put it through. I'm going to put it through both, right? Up, 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 up. And then I'm going to load the other bead on it as well. These are, again, Sodalite, you guys. These are available at John Bead. I don't think they made the link, Carmi. If you're still here, I think these, are, these aren't the pillow packs. So if you guys are looking for Sodalite and you can't find them on the link that I put above, um, do um, ask for that or do say info at um, johnbead.com because um, I think... That is what's going on there. So I'm going to give myself probably about an inch here. Okay, see how much how much we um, probably use about two inches of wire. You want to give yourself enough to work with, but so this one I'm just going to start rolling up from the end. This might be a little bit bigger, better than the picture, but again that tiny, tiny, tiny thing, rolling, rolling. No, this is actually the same. And this one I'm keep rolling. Oops. Two percent. <laughs> Two percent. I'm glad you guys know how to open and close a jump ring because I don't need to show you that. So when you get to the end here, okay, here was a sweet spot for my camera. I'm just going to, when I get it all folded up, I'm going to, and I can even do this with my finger with aluminum wire, is just put it down there. But just make sure everything is nice and tight so that you don't have a floppy, you know, so you would, the, the thing is you want enough tension between the two that you're going to do that. Let's see if I can quickly get the, the clasp done. I'm going to let you guys uh, figure out how to put, you know, it's just opening and closing to put all of these together. Um, and then I'll, I'll sh um, you know, you basically do the same thing for the layer cake one too. It's just, it's just that you're, um, let me make sure that's right. Oh yeah, except for you're gonna come through on this one, okay? But you're gonna come through and you're gonna come around and it's all in the directions. Um, but you could just come straight through. You couldn't come straight through here because there's nothing to keep that spiral on. So you need to wrap it around this base and then come up here. And I kind of like to fill in that, uh, that back right there. Okay, so 1%. Guys, let's get cracking here. I got myself a little bit. So all I'm doing is I'm basically making sure that I have a smaller part here and I'm just doing that P or Q. I'm not going back into making that a lollipop on top. And this whole, this piece is available right here to match. So you do wanna get those patterns, right? There it is. But it also kind of gives you the measurements uh, if you want to um, follow this. So basically around the biggest part of my round nose. And then I like to have this little bit of a jaunty angle here. That's what Kate Richburg calls it. I just love that. And so you're creating that little bit of a tension point right there. And then we are going to, oh my God, we're at 1% now. And just chop this off right here. There we go. So only a little bit of uh, waste right there. And then you're going to take it to your bench block and flatten it out, open it and close it around the last piece of your uh, lovely, lovely, lovely bracelet. Okay. I wanna see if I can get this last, this last link in here. For those of you who aren't on, is, is there anything else that can go wrong today? <laughs> I, this is so funny. Okay, we're gonna go into here. Here's my landing page link. I just want, if you guys aren't already uh, on the newsletter, I want you to be able to get the things quick. Again, if we have to refresh some of those kits for the, the great bead extravaganza, let's see if I can still get to this. Um, I, I will, um, but, but where are you? <laughs> it's one. It's one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
bump and bump. There's the link for the landing page for my newsletter if you want to sign up. Now, a little secret too is I used to do a weekly newsletter and um, I thought, you know what? I'm busy now. Um, let's just cut it down to two or three times a week for those of you who uh, don't like a newsletter in your inbox uh, five days a week. Just know that it's not that anymore. Um, but there's still lots of good information in there. <laughs> I done good. Ah! <laughs> All right, I'm still at one percent. I think it's holding. It's holding tough for me. Um, but you guys know I love you. Sorry about this whole thing. Apparently, I have to check how much uh, percentage. It must leak. I think it leaks. <laughs> Just like my tire yesterday. Uh, your whole week is bad. I know. Should we just, let's just decide, Daniel, that our week is done. The bad week is done and we're starting the new week. We don't have to wait until Sunday. <laughs> um, Nancy, they aren't, they could be rings. Um, these are actually one inch links. Okay. Um, so these are for bracelet, uh, but thanks. Hi, Todd Scroggins. Hello. Nice to see you here. Hello to everyone else. I didn't get to say hello to um, hi Heidi and you know what I'm gonna sign off before it cuts me off Mwah. make sure there's still plenty of time you guys to get stuff in for the uh, beads of courage uh, collaborations um, just uh, email me um, if you want information um, if not here's my we still love you and here's how to get information I'm trying to keep up with all the messages that come through uh, the live and uh, Facebook uh, through Brenda Schwader Jewelry, but if I'm not getting back to you, please do um, just email me, okay? You know, I love you. Thank you so much, so, so much for joining. Um, it really fills my heart that you pick uh, to follow and to follow along and learn about cool wire stuff next week through.